Welcome to the ninth video of my indoor weather station tutorial series and in this video I will show you how to hook up the TSL 2561 to the Raspberry Pi. Um, this is a lux sensor, so it's a light sensor that measures um, specific um, lux values and uh, lucky for us it has a very similar wiring to the one uh, in the previous video where I was um, working with the BME 280. So Again, I, I've looked up the, um, uh, um, the, the, the pinout for this, and again, we have a VIN, we have a ground, and a data, and a clock uh, line. So the, the naming for this is slightly different, and also um, the pins are at slightly different positions than with the other sensor, but that's okay. I'll just leave the setup the way it was uh, for the last sensor, and um, I'll have to remove these first, and I'll hook this up. And now I'll see, okay, this was the power line, so we'll put that in VIN. Um, this was the ground line, and we'll put that in GND. Then uh, I would have to look this up. So SDA, that would have been, okay, so SDA is the second one. Is that right? So I, I always get confused with this, but this should be fine. SDA is the second one, and the third one is the clock, which is this one. Yeah, that should be all right. Okay. And lucky for us again, there is a Python uh, library for this. Again, it's it's on GitHub. This time not by Adafruit, but by Control Everything Community. And we will install this the same way that we installed the last library by copying this, then we will go over to our Raspberry Pi and I will already just um, open a new file. Now in here we're in our data log logging directory and I will sudo git clone, copy that in here, dot git. see what happens. It's already created the directory and that should be fine. Okay, so once again we will import time, then from smbus we will import smbus. We will create an object from that. Whoops. What did I do here? Um, Okay, now we need to do some technical stuff that, if I'm completely honest with you, I don't really understand myself. I'm not an um, electrical engineer, but if I understood this correctly, it has to do um, with the I2C communication, so it's some um, signal processing thing. Oops. Um, so just bear with me for a moment here. I need to do another one. Then we need to wait for a bit. And initially, L is going to be none. And then again, we go through a while loop. And again, this is going to be a bit technical and like I said, I got this from the um, example file. So again, just bear with me for a second. And I'll just copy this because the next line is very similar. It's going to be data one. And then it's, we have an E here. 
Okay. Then we have this. Here we go. Now another one. Whew, this is pretty tedious. Okay, there we go. I probably should have just copy pasted this, but there you go. So now we will calculate the light. We go and we will print that and then um, just wait for a second literally a second okay let's save that sorry if I was bo boring you with that but there you go CSL 2561 all right so let's just see if this works and we will do Python uh, God's sake T I'm confusing my Z's and Y's today. There we go. So 240 Lux. Um fairly dark here. If I hold my finger over it, it goes all the way down to well, practically zero. I guess my, my finger still um, lets a little bit of light pass. And well, I, fortunately, I don't have a flashlight here, but if I maybe held this up to my screen, <clears throat> yeah, then we get a, a higher lux value as well. Okay, so there you go, that worked. That was it for this video. And in the next video, I guess we will be looking at the distance sensor. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.